So I'm pretty excited to open this box and let's just see what's inside. You know, it is pretty shiny and I can see. Oh my god, this. Oh ho ho ho. Hey guys, so welcome back and today this is something that I've been waiting for a pretty long time to grab my hands on and now I have it and uh, this is pretty exciting, you know, the box is really amazing. I know you guys know what it, it what's gonna be there inside but let's just see how the packages come to me. This is a huge upgrade from my previous phone which was a Samsung S9 Plus but I'll talk about that as well and why I would miss that phone. So first let's just open this up and see what is there. Uh, there's a pretty good thank you note which is like a postcard and a nice uh, personalized touch. I think if they had written something so that would have been great. So I ordered for, I did get a, I, this is a pre-order version and I did get uh, a lot of accessories with it uh, because as you might have seen, there's a certain uh, voucher, gift voucher that I received and in that I got one of the scene, uh, screen protectors and I got one cover which is a leather case, it's a caramel leather case and I got myself a 45 watt power adapter and pretty interestingly this comes with a wire too and uh, there we have i even got an option to buy the super fast charger which is the wireless one there is another cover which is a silicone and it's in white so and here it is this is the phone guys this is what i have been waiting for quite a long time let's keep the box aside and whoa okay this is so this is it and uh, Oh, oh shit, I already opened it up. My bad. Yeah, actually it came in like two days ago and I really couldn't stop myself uh, to open this up. But, so, hold on. Let me show you the color. Whoa, isn't that crazy, guys? Just look at the cream. This is a cream color uh, Samsung S23 Ultra. And I am really impressed by the phone. Like, they did quite a lot of changes. I mean, uh, internally. But look wise, uh, there's not much change. It's just the rims of the camera are a little bit larger and I'm dead sure the camera performance and everything has been upgraded. So this is what it looks like. And uh, let's just get back to what I was trying to talk about. So this was my previous one, which was the S9 Plus. And I am really, you know, I used it for almost four years. I really didn't find anything wrong in this phone. This one has the best camera that Samsung came out with and I'm pretty impressed that Samsung is the one that really does innovations when it comes to camera and everything. So you know what the best thing about this camera was? This phone came out with a variable aperture uh, you know camera behind so you could actually change from 1.5 to 2.4 if I'm not wrong. So and you can actually see the blades, you know, reducing and you know the aperture changing and it really helped me a lot in creating amazing photos with this phone. But I and there's one more thing that I really miss about you know nowadays with phones, there is no fingerprint scanner at the back. But this one had a fingerprint scanner and I could really pull down the notification from there itself just by uh, you know pulling it down or uh, sliding the sliding my finger down. So I think it's okay. Uh, I did enjoy this phone uh, for quite a long time, but now it's time to use this one. You know, upgrade myself, come up to the current standards, and uh, as a photographer, I would re review this product within the next video. But for now, I just go about how I feel and you know about this product. So let me just switch it on and let's see what has this got to do, you know what this phone has to offer us. So switching to the S23 Ultra, I did spend one day with this and I happened to go around and click a couple of pictures and also the videos that uh, you will be able to see right now. So I'll just give you a little brief my first initial impressions about the phone and the camera performance, how it is because I am going to be majorly doing all my you know mobile photography and uh, also try to make a video out of it, a cinematic video. So the first photo that you see is taken on a 200MP which is at 1x zoom, the basic one and I'm sure if you see right now this is uh, you know it has got pretty good details into it you know even in the night time it captured quite a lot of details so I'm very impressed by the 200MP the upgrade that they did and for me 
coming from a 12 MP uh, Samsung S9 Plus. This is like a huge leap and I'm so happy to have this in my hand. It feels so premium. And uh, moving on to the next one, this is in the wide mode. Uh, the wide angle lens and I'm sure like I'm happy I mean the wide angle lens did capture uh, quite a lot of details as well of this building if you see and there's a little bit of the motion uh, you can see motion in the leaves because it was quite windy and in the night time this automatically detects being a night time so it does take a night shot automatically by itself so I think this is a good effect that has actually come up a little bit of motion in the in the tree branches and uh, makes makes the photo quite uh, intuitive and interesting to see like this little bit of the motion uh, moving on this is at a 10x zoom and i feel this as it does a pretty good job in the highlights and it the best part about this camera system is it wherever you see it you won't ever get a blown out highlight so the highlights are pretty good if you can see the uh, the logo the charlie lane logo like the board has come out very you know clear like it's not blown out it's it's not too bright so i think this this even the 10x uh, periscope zoom lens does a pretty good job in taking pictures in the night time so this is another one with, this is a video taken in 4k and 60 fps which was quite good and was very windy as you can hear the noise this was in the daytime a little bit in the golden hour time i haven't shot anything in raw right now but i will be doing a separate video in my next video i'll be all going in checking out the camera and comparing it to my previous ones if or the sony a6400 uh, i think you know it this I'll, nowadays the cameras are literally competing the uh, the phone cameras are literally competing with the professional cameras and you can still get much better images supported mode as uh, clicked a very good sharp image it has actually detected the subject pretty nicely even though there were a lot of crevices in between even though you can see it still did a good edge detection but some of the places it did miss out because of the distance in between this was actually a very short review not even a review but just an unboxing and talking about how I upgraded myself to this beautiful phone it does feel premium in my hand and going around and shooting uh, doing some you know street photos taking street photos with this is gonna be definitely amazing so yeah that's that's for this video thank you so much guys for coming and checking out my video once again and do hit that subscribe button because I like to make videos for you guys and I think I'm done for this year's all my purchases are done so this is my last purchase and now it's time to unravel every other feature of this phone and my other lens and the camera if you haven't seen it's right over here go check it out and i shall see you in the next one peace out